So today we are over at Splashworks. It is the water park associated and actually inside of Canada's Wonderland. Uh, it's got this great backdrop of Behemoth and Canadian Mindbuster, I think. I think that's the name of it. Uh, so far, it's, it seems like a pretty small water park for a, um, a park this size, but uh, our kids are having a good time. Uh, wave pool's uh, pretty good. Uh, seating is strange. There's no uh, large like lounging chairs here. Everything are just these small uh, regular chairs. I guess they can ho get more of them in that way, but it's not nearly as comfortable. So we're actually going to start out in the back of Splashworks because that's where we're seated. Uh, like I said, it's not that big of a park, but it does have a good selection of water slides. Uh, it doesn't seem to have like a lot that are great for little kids like Colin, uh, but it's got a, a good selection for the 48 inch and above crowd like Blake, Colin and, or sorry, Blake, Mia and Lucy. This slide here is the black hole. It is a tube slide and there's a pretty significant queue even at the base just waiting for tubes. It's not like some of the parks we've been to lately where they have just a, an excess of tubes. Uh, and Colin here is demonstrating that uh, he is well short of being able to ride it. Colin, how much more do you have to go? Two? Okay. It's all enclosed tube slide. Um, I'll probably ride this later. I know all the kids will ride it. Uh, they always love the tube slides. Uh, they had some problems at the soak or the Cedar Point Shores ones because they would slow down on some of them. But I don't think they'll have the problem in those. Lucy and Blake have come down and now it's just Mia remaining. And Colin is off to the pump house. Uh, just a pretty normal kids water play structure. Uh, this is the second of two that they have here at Splashworks. So this is kind of strange. The entrance to the uh, racing slides and these two other slides is completely separate from where you can watch them. That's because there's a roller coaster going right underneath them. So that's kind of cool, but also a little annoying. Our early reviews of the Lazy River here are kind of negative. Uh, you have to be in a tube, you can't leave a tube. And you can only go around one time. So it doesn't make for a very lazy day. This water park is right next to the rest of the park and it already has two coasters going through it but Yukon Striker is right next to it. Uh, so if you like to have fun at the water park and enjoy some great coaster views, well, I recommend this. A staple for any modern water park are the racing slides and this one has an eight lane racing slide which is great. Colin's in this group I think. Let's see how he does against a bunch of adults. Oh, late start. Oh, he has a blast on these racing slides. This uh, super soaker, the plunge. Uh, looks like a just a straight down family slide. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun actually. So one thing I've noticed with this thing is that people just keep flying when they hit this water. That's awesome. Oh, here they come. Looks like Colin's going to be in the third lane here. 
Blake, how do you think Colin's going to fare against the competition today? Uh, I think he's going to get last. Yeah, but is he going to do last with confidence? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's such a American idea. All right. <laughs> and oh, he didn't even launch correctly. Late start, because he has to wait for the person to help. But let's see how he does. Here he comes. Oh! Oh, does he even make it to the black? Does he make it to the... He doesn't even make it to the black! <laughs> But he still has fun. Continuing on over to the uh, left of the entrance to Splashworks, we have a splash station, which looks like a, uh, a younger kids area. And then you've also got two other slides. You've got Typhoon, which I think is a uh, tube slide with little funnels. And then you've got these uh, uh, dropout slides here, which are really fun. I really enjoy those. This is the uh, Ms. Uh, Muskoka plunge, or Mus? Oh, Muskoka plunge. Over here, it's the drop slides. I'll probably do this here in a little bit. It's actually started raining here today, so maybe that'll thin out the rest of the park of the day. Still supposed to be a rather nice day, so it might not happen. One thing that we've seen on all the slides is that they have cues for the tubes or the mats uh, on every single one of them. So you don't you don't line up in the the line to go down the slide. You usually line up down here to wait for a tube. That's an interesting way of doing it. This is Typhoon, uh, running, or the water slide with some funnels here. Lucy. Okay, we're going to have the great Larson Looper Canada's Wonderland Splashworks race of 2019 but first we got to wait in line for a map we've got our mats and they're on their way so this is the great splash works larson loopers race of 2019 my money's on blake but you never know he could have a bad start one thing i know for certain is that colin probably won't win but he'll probably have the most fun because he absolutely loves the racing slides. And Colin's gonna get an assist. Maybe he gets an early start, who knows? Let's see what happens. Anything goes. Oh. Oh, Blake's not even gonna win in the... Oh, Blake's getting beat by somebody else, but Blake's the winner of the Larson, followed by Mia, followed by Lucy. And then Colin is bringing up the rear. And you can't even see him over there, but he had fun. Colin, was that fun? What's awesome about Mia is that she loves taking Colin around to these water parks. Let's see what kind of fun they can have. So even though these attractions over here are meant for the littlest ones, all four of the kids have decided that they want to go play. Blake just barely makes it at 59 and 3 quarters inches tall, so he'll be able to ride these slides. There's a whole nother part of Splashworks that apparently is closed down. I think it's like a splash pad zone or something like that. It's a shame it's not open today. They told us it's not going to be open at all today. So that kind of stinks, but we'll still have fun. Over here we have Whirlwinds, another raft attraction with a uh, long line to pick up the raft. Uh, but again, like I always say, it looks like a lot of fun because we're at amusement parks and things are supposed to be fun and I will almost always say they're a lot of fun. 
Something about whirlwinds here that I didn't know until I walked past the sign is that it'll actually allow Colin to ride it. It allows 40 to 48 to ride as long as they wear a life jacket. So always good to find something that Colin can ride. I'm a big believer in things for that 42 to 48 inch uh, size. So this is great. Can't wait to see him come down. Oh, Mia's coming down backwards. Oh, that was Lucy. Lucy came down backwards. Oh, here comes Blake. Here's Colin. Here comes Miss Mia.